Today, we're gonna be touring the train stations in my area, so stick around. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something of interest, you consider hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. You know, this week's video is gonna be a little bit different. Even though we're in the winter, it's January right now and it's typically very cold and snowy, today's very sunny and actually in the 50s. So I decided to take advantage of this really nice weather to take you out and about with me on the town. You know, I work with a lot of buyers that are commuters in and out of New York City every day and most of them take the train. So I thought, let me take you out and show you what the train stations in my area look like and tell you a little bit about them. Since there are so many different stations in my area, I decided to start with the five closest to where I'm located in Woodbridge. Keep an eye out for a future video where I show you some of the other ones. Let's go. Stop on our tour is the historic train station in Perth Amboy. This train station is actually on the National Register of Historic Places and the New Jersey Registry of Historic Sites. The really great thing about utilizing this train station for your daily commute to New York City is if you're a Perth Amboy resident, you can actually get a commuter parking permit absolutely free. The train station is located right off Smith Street and Smith Street runs right through the heart of Perth Amboy and houses a lot of the small businesses, restaurants, and shops for the area. Don't let the historic condition of the station fool you. The Perth Amboy train station was just awarded $7 million in funding to renovate and upgrade the station, making it more accessible for commuters, seniors, and people with disabilities. Currently, you have to walk downstairs to reach both sides of the platform. And with the renovation, they do plan on installing elevators. And don't worry, on those cold days, you don't have to wait just outside for your train. There is an inside waiting area. Number two is the Woodbridge train station. So first of all, I'm so sorry I keep wearing my sunglasses. It's actually so sunny out um, and bright that I have to wear them or I feel like I'm kind of blinded. So sorry about that. Uh, but we're at the Woodbridge train station. This train station is also right in the heart of downtown Woodbridge proper, right off of Main Street. It's another great station that you can hop on and off the train and take advantage of all uh, that Woodbridge downtown has to offer. Now, Woodbridge parking does also require a parking permit, and there is, in fact, a waiting list currently for parking permits in Woodbridge. Part of the reason why there's such a long waiting list is because this is one of the busiest train stations along the North Jersey coastline. It serves over 1,700 riders every single day. I also think part of the popularity is because this train station falls on actually an express line. So you can actually take an express train from New York to Woodbridge instead of always having to take the local. 
If you're not able to get the parking permit, don't worry, you can still utilize this train station by using their daily parking spaces and it's $3 a day and it's free weekdays after 11 and all day on the weekends. So if you wanna utilize this station on the weekends to head up into the city, parking's free. parked at our third station today and that is Avenel and I finally got some shade to park in. This is another station on the North Jersey coastline and this is a local stop station which means you won't be stopping here on any express trains. And interestingly enough from 1985 up until last year 2019 it actually didn't have any weekend service so they just recently restored the weekend service back to the station. The one main thing you need to note about the Avenel train station is that parking is extremely limited. There's a small amount of permit parking nearby, and yes, it is free after 12 o'clock on the weekdays, and it's also free on weekends and holidays. However, spots are extremely limited. So if you live in the area and you plan on using the Avenel train station on a daily basis for your commute, I suggest you either get here really, really early to snag a spot or find some other means to get to the station, whether that's walking, riding a bike, or having somebody else drive you to and from the train station. If you don't have any way to get to and from this train station and you're not able to snag a spot, well then I might recommend heading up to Rawway or heading down to the Woodbridge train station we were just at and utilizing those stations instead. However, if you do live nearby and you are gonna utilize the station, what's really nice about it is that it's never really crowded. Let's head to the next one. stop on our tour today is Metro Park Station. Now Metro Park Station is actually a huge station located in Island. And the reason it's so large is because it's actually a major hub, not just for New Jersey Transit, but Amtrak actually goes through this station as well. You can hop on a three hour Amtrak train down to Washington DC from here. There's a ton of parking and a large parking garage as well. The Northeast Corridor is the New Jersey Transit line that runs through this station. And because this is an Amtrak station and you can hop on trains that go all the way down to Washington DC, the parking garage actually does offer long-term parking options as well. Before we head to the next and last station on our tour today, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comment section below. Also, if you're watching this video because you're actually gonna be relocating to Central New Jersey in the near future, click the link in the description box below to get your free copy of my Central Jersey Relocation Guide. Now let's head out to our last train station in Metuchen.
Here's a commuter bonus tip. Since the Northeast Corridor and the North Jersey coastline actually share several stations and coverage area, if for any reason there's any issues on one of the lines and some of the trains get canceled, a lot of times New Jersey Transit will do what they call cross-honoring, which means if you carry a ticket for the Northeast Corridor, for example, you're able to use it on the North Jersey coastline and vice versa. Metuchen is the last stop on our train station tour for today. Now today's video was just a general overview of these train stations. If you want more information, you can either visit the New Jersey Transit website directly, or you can contact me if you're moving to the area and you want some insight into which station might be the best one for you. Now the Metuchen train station is another station on the Northeast Corridor line. And while Metuchen itself is not actually a very big town, driving up to the station, you might assume that there's actually not a lot of parking, but don't let that fool you. There's actually 10 different parking lots, including a very large parking garage that was just built and finished in 2016. The Metuchen train station is right in the heart of downtown Metuchen, right off Main Street. So this is another station that's great if you want to hop on and off the train and take advantage of downtown Metuchen. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I really hope you found this information helpful. You know, my goal is to make the content you're looking for. So if you have an idea for a future video, please leave it in the comment section below. And like I said earlier, if you are watching this video because you're relocating to the area, make sure to click the link in the description box below to get your free copy of my Central Jersey Relocation Guide. And keep your eye for part two of this video where I'll take you on a quick overview of the other five train stations in Middlesex County. I'll see you next week.